Like, I was like not doing shit. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> I would have thought it would be hard to get fired from Walmart. No, it's pretty like, easy. Just don't do shit. <laughs> Literally, don't do shit. You just walk around there. And yeah, just, that's like, what half them niggas be doing. Every yeah, time I go yeah. up there and ask for some help, these niggas don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Right. Dog oh, food. We don't even have dog food. Yeah, you do. We don't even put milk and dairy. <laughs> what? Right, bro. Better than yeah. yours, bro. My get better than yours. Like, bro, go take your shirt off, man. Just, <laughs> you ain't got to tell me twice. Man. I don't want this hoe. You want it? <laughs> you got to take the vest off. Yeah, the vest. <laughs> yeah, they got the vest now. Drop the name badge, sir. Fine with me. Here you go. I mean, I, like, if, if I had to work at Walmart, I want to be a greeter. Because all they do is just, like, highlight the receipt. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. you can steal, like, 20 items. They just highlight. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. <laughs> mm. Well, would be. I definitely wouldn't work in electronics. Nah, um, niggas be trying to rob over there the most. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see. I donh no produce. Because <laughs> <laughs> they produce is you ain't just thinking about going to Walmart for those damn vegetables. You got you not think about going to Walmart to buy no meat. Who buy yeah. meat from Walmart? You'd you be surprised, bro. You'd be nah. surprised, boys. Be out there. Hey, we, we live in a struggle time, boys. We getting to hit up the deli. They be hitting up the deli, boys. Hit up that Walmart deli, man. I worked in the pharmacy department. So, like, all of the, like, hair products, condoms, mm -hmm. plan oh, B. Yeah. yeah, you know niggas hitting that hell up. You was getting hit up. I used to see all the people. And it's one by 290. That's the one I worked at. Because mm -hmm. I was at Privy when I was Ooh. working there. Mm -hmm. So, I knew who was freaking old. <laughs> I knew who had the diseases. Damn. Oh, well, what you picking up there? Let me see that. Oh, that's medication. The, that's the, the anti-itch cream. Okay. But that lip? Is it a pump on that lip, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me get you. Let me get you to the pharmacist. Mm -mm. But uh, what's going on? What up, what up, everybody? What's Episode man? 35 of the uh, ITC podcast, man. Um, Actually, we skipped because last week we said 33, but we forgot we didn't upload one to YouTube. So we correcting our tracks. This is okay. 35. Um, okay. And I like the fact before I get started, we all got the memo of the all black. Um, oh, damn. Black this was oh, definitely <laughs> accidental. <laughs> no, that's at least what it's looking like. But <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't get I didn't get no letters on mine, so I didn't get that memo. But yeah, you know, <laughs> right. we gonna, we're gonna keep it working. So how the homies been? Marcus, we ain't seen in a while. Mm -hmm. Um, I know, man. Yeah. Mental yeah. health, been Noah good, as man. well. I can't complain. How you living, Noah? Be good. No complaints on my end. Y'all staying COVID free out there? Best gotcha. way you can. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. It's the best way you can, man. At this at this present juncture, but uh. Um, I, I will say this for those out there that have been, uh, what's the word, venturing out in these COVID streets, venturing. just just keep your mask on, man. Just If you're going to be out there, just put your mask on, bro. Simple, simple one-two combo. That's all you got to do, man. I know people will be having it's, – it's still sad to say we've been dealing with this for the majority of the year, and people still have trouble – Putting the fucking mask on. I don't know why. It's it's such the most simplest thing to do. Just boom. It mask. just put it properly. Like yeah, some people put it on just and, and, like under their nose. nose. Like that doesn't do nothing. Being a jackass. Hey, since I gotta wear it. <laughs> you and, I, and I like all the stories. All of them. Doesn't matter where it is. It can be the hood stories. They even like, hey, my nigga, put, put your shit on on the window. <laughs> They don't play that shit. These hood stories be like, yo, bro. Hey, my nigga, hey, put that shit on, bro. Do not <laughs> do it. Like, what you doing? Because they want to save your life. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> that's that's sad. That is sad. Wasn't the, uh, wasn't the president two-stepping <laughs> like a couple days ago at a at a rally? Mm -mm. He, he wasn't was necessarily two-stepping, two but he, he was getting down a little bit. Oh my! Yeah, he had his little rally, and you know he still got. He, I think he, he probably on day what ten <laughs> with his shit. Right, but, um, he out there. He out and about, shucking and driving. 
<laughs> Shucking and driving for them votes. Vaccine or something? Yeah, I heard something about that. Um, Would y'all take it if if it was a uh, if it came out? <laughs> Nigga, I don't even be taking nope. a flu shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not even taking a flu shot, so definitely not taking no vaccine. I can kiss my ass. Well, they say it is mandatory <laughs> to take so it. Shit. <laughs> Things are mandatory, and we still don't do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, they don't know what race they fucking with. I mean, they rushing that shit, bro. Like, you can't come up with a vaccine in less than a year, less than a few months, <laughs> and mm-hmm. try to rush that shit. <clears throat> that shit normally take years to to be approved and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, um, mm-hmm. They trying to hurry and rush that shit out. I'm like, how about you close shit down or keep things out of? Uh, we could have been, you know, got control of it uh, months ago, but mm-hmm. you know, we we thought it was okay to just let people wander and stuff. Um, and, you know, we had incidents where people were marching and stuff like that. Just, yeah, that, that whole situation, yeah. too. Yeah, there's just so many de- things. And it looked like the cases are back increasing. Yeah, um, in some states. Yeah. 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 So, it's, hey, it's, man. It's tough, this, man. This, this is the world we live in, 2020. Hopefully, 2021 is much better. We'll, we'll I'm see. not rushing it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not either. Uh, fucking, who knows? We just in the twenties. Are you fool? <laughs> this is just it's not even. Better. I'm That's just getting I started. Huh? <laughs> I just hope we better prepare. Like because I guess we don't take it seriously until it truly affects you and the things around you. Mm-hmm. But hopefully, now that they we've seen a lot of stuff that's been going on, we come with a different mindset in 2021. Yeah, it's, yeah. niggas gonna be niggas. <laughs> I know. Positivity. I, I followed like, you. I, I followed I, you. We we get it. We we understand it. But niggas, it's gonna be niggas. You know, <laughs> I, I feel <laughs> like it's just um, I don't know, bro. The, the strong will survive. It's yeah, just that's, that that's it. Yeah. The strong yeah. and the smart yeah. minded individuals. The people who can adapt. Yeah. Like, you know, you got them idiots who are gonna, you know. <clears throat> get themselves killed. I mean, like, oh, I don't want to wear a mask. Like, it's, it's always going to be somebody that's going to be playing mm-hmm. against the fence and they're going to end up being on the other example. side of that fence. They're going to be an right. example. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to make sure I wear it this time because yeah, buddy passed away. But, um, I mean, that's kind of what it is through all out history. It mm-hmm. just seemed like you got to, it was always a survival uh, type thing. And, um, yeah, people are showing who wouldn't make it. At Yo. all. Niggas are showing their ass. Facts. Niggas out here. I don't give a fuck. Fuck COVID, nigga. I, I got bills to pay. <laughs> right. I got shit to do, nigga. I don't give a fuck about this go shit. Yeah, I gotta go to work. Turn up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Fuck COVID, man. That shit fake anyway. I don't know how many times I heard that. I was like, it's what? A conspiracy. It's a conspiracy, man. It's a conspiracy to control the population. Uh, you control whatever you control over there. Don't come near me. <laughs> right? Don't come, don't come over here with it. You, what you do in your house is your business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because um, that's one of the things about it that's the most dangerous. Like, nigga, you can affect somebody else. So because you're not wearing a mm-hmm. mask, you could potentially pass that shit on to somebody else just because you're not uh, showing symptoms or anything like that. You know, you're right. Wasn't really Facts. considering that. But um, nah, um, in other hip hop. Maybe drama shade room type news. Did y'all see uh Cardi B? I've <laughs> I've seen the memes. <laughs> what seems to be going on in the the world today with well, Cardi B? Um I've seen the memes. Ross <laughs> apparently <laughs> she um was on uh Instagram mm-hmm. and a story mm-hmm. and I think she accidentally posted a naked picture of her oh, well of her mm-hmm. breast and she was like in this little awkward position you know that that look when you just came in in the house took your shirt off and just laid on the couch real quick mm-hmm. on instagram yeah. see what was popping she had one of those mm-hmm. type pictures and um yeah accidentally uploaded it to instagram her instagram story and um i oh, believe yeah, she's trying to take it down she didn't get she didn't get to it fast enough to take it down oh no nah, bro as soon as it's up it's yeah. screenshot it it ain't no accident but she knew what she was too fast yeah, like, and 
I mean, people are joking. Of course. <laughs> you got <laughs> you got to right. see it, bro. Like, yeah, niggas got, bro. Niggas is quick with the memes. Niggas is mm-hmm. niggas is quick with the. Memes. I just I just feel like we should, you know, all nipples matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all nipples matter. All, all nipples matter. Oh no, of course. There's nothing wrong with a good, good yeah. nipple. You know what I'm saying? He said a good. I mean, people got their jokes because they yeah. like, hey man, yeah, kind of wide, you know. But I want to show this meme, but I can't because send it to Noah. She had the pet. I she got had the see. pancake areolas. Yeah, that's some. Someone had to. Someone said, "Why nobody tell Cardi B had the the meal at McDonald's?" <laughs> No. <laughs> she had the pancake. She no. Had the pancake. So Noah, you know when you make pancake mix <laughs> and you pour it on the on the skillet, but it don't necessarily come out perfectly round. Mm-hmm. Oh no! It, you know it had it had the Nickelodeon splatter look. That's that's the area look like. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, you know it's just one of them ones. You know, you know one of them ones. Them splash. Like, yeah. ones. It's, yeah, it's more to the nipple than just the nipple. It's like mm-hmm. a lot of. A lot of uh, yeah. land to discover. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yes. when God was putting a nipple on, he took it and he just like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it was. And some residue <laughs> just formed around it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, all, all nipples matter. You know what I'm saying? Again, hey. I, don't, I don't know why people were ba- nipple bashing. These are jokes, but nobody's complaining. Yeah. It's, it's a nipple, yeah. bro. Yeah, the nipple. The nipple. The nipple. Virgins no. are. Yeah, yeah I just want to make a joke. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we saw it in um Ross. Remember we did a reaction, bro, and she she kind of. I know they kind of like blurred it out, of course, but um, it's like they didn't have any bras in there. No, remember it was like a whole bunch of women walking. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. Was that the, the Manny video? No, nah. press. It was the press. press. It was press. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. press. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, "This don't match press." Because I mean, if you would imagine, like, yeah, anywho, I, don't I mean, know. shit happened, bro. I, I don't know. She she had some body changes over the few yeah. years, so I I don't know, bro. I, hey, hey, man, <laughs> Say taking that. the nipples out. Niggas is childish. It's been informed to me and sent to me that Amber Rose has OnlyFans. Hmm. Mm. I mean, that's not surprising. Yeah. <laughs> right. That was <went> news. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> hey, okay, yeah, it's right, gonna be seventy it's... degrees tomorrow. Yeah, Hot that's right. That's, that's pretty it's much. Right. That <laughs> sucks, you know, like for bash and and dash and slash and all oh, the <laughs> all the kids <laughs> cash better stash. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, bro. I, I it's I don't. I, I, just think, just think about this for a second. What if your parent had an OnlyFans? That's the problem about this generation that yeah. I right. feel bad for because our parents didn't have technology like mm-hmm. now. So we didn't we didn't see the slorning horn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But these kids now they gonna grow up and like, Mama, what the fuck? Yo, um, those road sessions gonna be epic. I'm fighting. Oh, yeah, oh, you got to wait, till, wait till those kids get older. It's going down. Like, boy. I'm about don't don't let me go to Insta. Yeah. See on my classic. dad subscribe to your shit for 1099. Right. <laughs> my dad subscribe to your, your mom's only fan. Nigga said, my daddy saw your mama whole cervix online. <laughs> That's my yeah, word. Cervix. You got to run it. You got to <laughs> run it. Right now. But I don't think even <laughs> we, I think we just live in a world where niggas don't care. I don't think kids would care. I don't because you know why they're getting everything they want off that OnlyFans right. money. So I don't, I don't really the most. I don't the even kids think most epic comeback is going to be well, bitch, I'm rich. Yeah, That's look at my be shoes. The best comeback ever. Spell Balenciaga for me. <laughs> oh, you right. can't. You can't. It's right there in the shoe. B but... L Bello Belay. You can't read, bitch. Stupid. Of what? To today's society is isn't the same as what our morals hold up to from when we were young. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, uh, it's like it. Rich, quick, you know what I'm saying? Some quick. We don't really have like a motivation to really push to be great at something. It's like oh, instant satisfaction, satisf- ah, whatever that satisfaction. Word is. Yeah. yeah, that word. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's, but, that's that's true, bro. Um. I honestly feel like, um, you know, we 
Well, when you think about it, it's like people really want to be famous. It's like mm-hmm. it's kind of almost like I just want to go viral and mm-hmm. I'll do whatever it takes to be a viral sensation. And the reason why it, it kind of coincide with what you're saying, but at the same time, like, look at niggas like Welvin. Like, he was, like, the hottest nigga around. This nigga was in songs. All the rappers was linking up with him. And then next thing you know, you ain't hearing about him no more. And then he homeless and drunk or drugged out somewhere. So it's like, um, it's it's kind of like I do feel like they want to to just get rich quick. But it's like they, their fame starting to just really <laughs> like niggas want to be noticed yeah. and known for something. It's like they don't even give a damn what it is. Mm-hmm. Good or bad. Right, right. So um, it's kind of like a little, I wish it was money, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays, nigga, especially when that World Star era shit start popping, mm-hmm. like yeah. you act to actually watch out. <laughs> Where else? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Those are yeah. words you didn't want to hear. Keep your head on the swivel. Yeah. You, you're getting into a fight yeah. and then a nigga getting the best of you and somebody, world star, you done. Like, yeah. At, at that done. point in time, it's like, bro, my career is over. I can be able to do nothing. So, <clears throat> but yeah. So, but yeah, um, hopefully we can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. All it do is it takes us shit. It takes us teaching our kids to, you know, have morals. You know, um, I, I got a question. How do y'all feel about parents nowadays? Do you think parenting is changing for the better as far as us being surrounded by so much, doing so much, and also trying to be fathers that are actually active in our children's lives? Or do you feel like it was better back in the day? And I pose this question because a lot of dads worked a lot and mm-hmm. they have not had the time to kind of spend with the children. But it seemed like shit was always in order regardless. So mm. I wonder, that was something I always wondered, like, do y'all think parenting is getting better or do y'all think it's like, no, hell no. Uh, to a, a certain extent, I don't, I think it's it's different in a sense of, we're more connected. Like you would be more connected with your child because you have that, you're able to, you know, communicate with them much easier now, I think. Um, Especially if you grew up in, like, the 80s and 90s, you kind of have the best of both worlds. You have the pre-technology era, then you have the technology era. So you kind of grew up in the best of, in that sweet spot of being able to live without it, but also being able to utilize it. So when it comes to raising kids, it, it, it comes off a little bit, I would think it would come off a little bit better in the sense of being able to have access to the things we didn't have access to, to be able to teach kids proper, you know, the basic things that they need to know because you have everything at your fingertips for the most part. Um, I do feel like depending on just a person's upbringing, especially if I know some people personally that they didn't grow up with their fathers, but they're changing that mode of, I'm going to be there for my child. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure they understand who I am and what I'm about. I think that's dope. You feel me? So uh, I I think it's, uh, I think it's more subjective, but from what I've seen, I don't, don't, of course there's, you know, parenting. There's some people that shouldn't be parents, obviously, but I, I do feel like it's, it's more so it's, it's different. I think, I think it's it's in the it's heading in the right direction, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I feel like just from what I've seen in my immediate circle and somewhat outside my circle, it's heading in a somewhat better direction. Niggas ain't just out here. I mean, some people are, but I don't see too many cases of people just really neglecting their children to all hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not right. Not as you know, probably because we we're all connected. So somebody gonna tell you about yourself or mm. say something like, "Yo, what the fuck you doing?" You know what I'm saying? So okay. that's just my take on it. Uh, I'm 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 kind of fifty fifty on it. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's for the better and the for and for worse. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, generation, we were learning a lot of different things that like we weren't taught growing up. We weren't taught about 
financial freedom. We weren't talking mm-hmm. about, we weren't taught about uh, entrepreneurship. It was like a little bit, but it's like our generation is hell big on it now. Mm-hmm. Like now it's like for our generation, you know, it's like the stereotype is you've been taught, go to college, graduate college, get a good job, work that job for 30, 35 years, retire. Our generation is like, fuck that. I'm not going to work for somebody <laughs> else for 35, 40 years. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, if I, either I'm going to go to college or I'm not. I'm going to learn the skill. Either way, I'm going to uh, go into a career field. I'm going to use that as my way to get money to build whatever empire I'm trying to build for myself and for my kids. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot, a lot of us have parents, grandparents who retired working the same job 35, 40 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have that mindset. But like I say, the difference now is we're in a technology-driven era. You know what I'm saying? Like, Warren, like you were saying earlier, anybody could get on the internet and go viral for something ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Shit, they, they had fucking big ass box phones when phones first came, cell phones first came mm-hmm. out. Couldn't yeah. record shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there weren't camera phones and different things like that. So, you know, I don't know what they do if they had them then, but, you know, the fact that we have them now, you know, it's five year olds walking around with fucking iPhones and Apple Watches and shit. Facts. And so, because we're such a technology driven era, it's it's helping teach those things. Like me, you know, God knows, rest his soul, love my uncle to death. But my uncle was so busy with being a pastor and taking care of the church that there were a lot of things that I didn't learn that I wasn't taught. Like, mm-hmm. you know, if I'm being honest, a woman taught me how to change the tire. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Different mm-hmm. little stuff around the house. Like stuff I do now, I get that shit from YouTube. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because nobody taught me. What right. like I'd be stuck out and I'd lose out on a lot of money if I didn't have YouTube. Because I'd be paying the fucking guy from Sears to come out and fix my dryer. Motherfucker mm-hmm. tried to charge me three hundred dollars to do something I did for free just by looking at YouTube. Facts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I think all of that plays a great part in it. Now, as far as the negative side, I'm gonna make it a little quick, is I think sometimes we get too caught up. Not us personally, because I know y'all, we all know each other, but I'm sorry, that's a generation. I think we get a little too caught up in the tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I say that, I mean, you know, we always looking, we always looking for the turn up. And it's like kids always at grandma house or mm-hmm. kids always at Amy uncle house. And it's okay. like, that's cool. The turn up is great. You know, you work hard, you play hard. That's, that's great. We all do it. We all have those times. But it's also too many cases of being on social media. I see people complaining about, Oh, I need a break. Break from what? You need a break <laughs> from your kids? The, the people you chose to lay down, have sex, and bring into this world, like, they didn't ask to be here. So, yeah. you know, you want to turn up is real, but you also got to make sure you handle the business as a parent, too. And I think that's kind of lacking just a little bit in our generation. Mm. You know, and then our grand, your parents and our parents' parents are older. Of course, they're not going to act towards their grandkids and great grandkids the way they acted towards us because, number one, different day and age. And number two, they older now. They're not going to be whooping kids for every little fucking thing. You're the parent. It's your job to discipline your kids and make sure, you know, teachers are there to teach, but it starts at home first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's that's why I'm 50-50 on it. That sucks. For real. I'm 50-50, just like you, Marcus, you know. It's just you see a lot of different things and different aspects of parenting. I can't speak as a parent, but I'm an uncle, you know, and a godfather. So they see things in a different light when I do something. Mm -hmm. A lot of parents, young parents, I want to say like maybe mid-20s, you know, they still have youthful ways. So now instead of being a parent, they're trying to be your best friend and working, you know. Now, the respect factor doesn't go into the world. So that's why you see all these kids being disrespectful to adults, you know, mm-hmm. or trying to fight these adults or just doing immature ass stuff. And so then when it comes back to you, the parent like, I don't know how you're acting like this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> right. Boundaries. You know what I'm saying? They see your ass on Instagram smoking and drinking and then True. turning it's only going to trickle down to your seed. And then grandma got to come in and be mm-hmm. the parent. And then grandpa got to come in and be the parent. So it's kind of like kids raising kids at some point or technology is raising the kids because of what they see mm-hmm. and what they're introduced to. Like, I don't know too many parents that are putting time limits on usage of 
iPads, video games, and things like that. Mm-hmm. Like, be right. real. When the last time you seen your a kid in the neighborhood playing sideline kill football mm-hmm. or Damn, like open outside? Right. I ain't seen. I ain't seen it in years, man. Exactly. It's been a minute. It's been a while. And then we don't have that same camaraderie. Like, how many kids are actually friends instead of cyber friends? Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. Yeah. When was the last time a kid knocked on your door and said, "Hey, Mister, can can your son come out and play?" Right. I mean, of course, with COVID and stuff, you can. But yeah, boarding is just you don't see that anymore. You don't see the you don't even see family outings as much. You know what I'm saying? Like right. you might see right. dad and his son, but not a dad, mom, and his son. Of course, with you know certain circumstances. But if you a family, start doing family stuff. You know. Start actually having family events, like certain promotions and stuff like that. They don't even show family on TV anymore because it's such a common, like, thing to see, like, single parents now. Yeah. Like, last time you seen a family TV show, like, with a whole family. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So, it's kind of, that's why I'm saying it's kind of 50-50 for me because... You see certain families that are doing this thing, but then on the other side, you see a lot of them that are internet parents and social media parents. I'm gonna take a picture with my son for Facebook, mm-hmm. and put it right, right out the way, go to go to seaside. That's yep. just <laughs> right. All right, <laughs> All right nigga. picture over, go in your room. Yeah, get your ass out of here. That was a good. That was a good one though, bro. Catch you same time next week. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you know what? That's that's a that's a hundred. I, I agree a hundred percent with all y'all. Um, I, I'm I'm stuck too. You know. Um, but I but to to kind of side with the older generation, like we we kind of lost our core value and morals. You know what I'm saying? Like, is is people used to look out for each other in certain communities and certain neighborhoods, and you didn't have to used to worry about certain things. Um, that you do now is it's kind of hard sometimes too when you think about letting your kid play and back in the day it's not that you wouldn't watch them but it's like you could feel comfortable knowing that hey they right here in the yard they cool but now when you got niggas just driving by grabbing kids and burning off you know what i'm saying it, it makes niggas like, like think about like oh no nah, you ain't finna be doing this so it's like i think mm-hmm. i think social media also makes us paranoid too because that's not happening majority of the time in our neighborhoods but because we see those one or two cases on social media they make it feels like it's happening everywhere you know what i'm saying that's what a lot of things so um i think the the loss of connection in communities um you know back in the day i mean i could just hear my mom and dad telling me stories about how when one person on the street would cook they would offer it you know it was kind of like a thanksgiving damn near uh, mm-hmm. quite often on the street if you live together and right. if one neighbor caught you doing something you wasn't supposed to and they whooped you you got to ask whooping when you got home too because mm-hmm. the neighbor had to whoop you um but it was like man i appreciate that man you got you know junior in line and i appreciate that nowadays it's, don't be touching my motherfucking child you know what i'm saying and it's just right. like um it's it's like the morals and ethics of how we should even interact as humans i feel like it's getting worse you know what i'm saying like just in that that aspect of back then versus now. I do mm-hmm. agree that we are more connected. I do agree that um <clears throat> we actually have time more time to spend with our kids if we want to. But a lot of people like y'all was saying are social media parents. Like we doing things for attention just so people can see, oh, I look like I got chemistry with my children or I look like, mm-hmm. you know, that's why I don't even post stuff for my kids a lot. And it's not to 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 refute or to look like I'm doing anything, but it's just like, you know, I I be spending time with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I just so happened to just record my son, you know, catching the ball because, you know, I was trying to teach him something as well. And mm-hmm. I just wanted to <clears throat> put that out there as well. Okay, look, this is something that I'm doing. But 90% of the time, a hundred percent of the time I'm actually with my children doing what I'm doing. And social media right. be doing half that shit that be going on. Um, so mm-hmm. I do think a lot of people are kind of losing the the 
they they not really seeing their children growing up because they are too busy capturing moments. Mm-hmm. That's real. You That's feel real me? Right I, I should tweet that shit. God damn. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was a great one. Put a pin in it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Put a pin in it. Right. <laughs> but now, like, when you think about it, a lot of people are so busy capturing moments, they, they kind of losing out on the growth of the people around them, not just children, but your loved ones, your spouse. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's it's a lot of people are they losing the sight of that, and we just gotta get, oh, I gotta get them likes, I gotta get them clicks. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I want y'all to see that I'm the best, and yeah, people be so they compete with people so much. Facts. Like it's like, bro, why we can't just? I I love when people are together and when they showing love or when you know you turning up or regardless of what you're doing, if you happy doing it, man, I'm I'm proud. Like, okay, cool, right? As long as you ain't out here shooting nobody and <laughs> robbing. At the mm-hmm. end of the day, man, I'm always wishing people the best, but so many people be like side hating. Like, you ain't, you ain't. Uh, hopefully, this, you know what I'm saying. And it's just like people don't. We lost the love that we should be having towards one another, and I think that's one of the reasons why we kind of taking a downward spiral when it comes to morals. Like it, it's a lot of things. Like I can go on and on and on. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it short though. But I mean, it's things like when you come in a man house, you take your hat off. You know, when you sit at the dinner table, you don't put, you know, you don't have a hat on. You know, you it's it's a lot of respectful things, you know what I'm saying? Like they just back in the day it just seemed like they had a code to a lot of things. And you know, nowadays I feel like we could master it, but now we just so busy trying to be better than the next instead of, you know, helping your brother get to where you are or fucking asking for help. Niggas mm-hmm. niggas hate to say, Hey, I, I don't know. <laughs> or I ain't got can you help? Boy, that's, that, that's like that boy. is killing us nowadays, man. That's it is people you too prideful, man. Too way too prideful. Very that's that's I think one of the most dominant things that's affecting just our community alone. You right. Know, we got too much pride to say, hey man, I don't know how to do this, bro. How how can you mm-hmm. you know, and then on the other hand, when you do do it, some nigga like, man, sh- I ain't trying to really show you my hustle because <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's like it's yeah, man. It's it's that that fifty fifty. You know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. uh, so they want to brag about it too. Like, yeah, I have to show right. Tony do yeah. this. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's the worst kind. <laughs> that reminds me of that kind. Supreme video, man. When it's like niggas get too antsy when they put you on to something, they always got to go extra. Mm-hmm. And you be like, oh, di- didn't I put you on? I put you on, didn't I? Like, okay, I understand that. We ain't got to tell the yeah. world like you overdoing it. That's that's facts, and I I see that a lot with the with the you know like the industry, like the people in music mm-hmm. and all the other shit. Like you know, you be then tried to talk to somebody about something that you thought was gonna be you know me and you conversation. The next thing you know, you the title of a, a thumbnail on a video of an mm-hmm. interview, right? <laughs> so right. and so gave such and such advice or loan him. <laughs> like whoa, <laughs> we didn't even go down like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And um. What what the the shambles is going on in this music industry is being put up on the consumer, which is us who just live in our normal lives, and it's it's kind of like their influence in us to think a certain way that we uh, of things we're not even experiencing, if that makes sense. Like so, mm-hmm. these niggas in music they influencers, people on videos they influencers, they going mm-hmm. through certain things and they influencing people who are innocent to believe shit that ain't even going on in their life. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting there listening to Money Bag. Yeah, like, I thought a bro nigga said, what, nigga, what? <laughs> like, what? I ain't ran from a nigga. If I did, cut my legs off. You got me feeling like a thug in the car. <laughs> I'm like, man, I never even been in this t- situation. You know what I'm saying? But, right. you know, on the for real side, you you got people that's, that's making you a whole thug. <laughs> I don't, sit I don't trust nobody. Like, nigga, you in a good neighborhood and everything's good around you. Why are you what is this me against the world shit you want? You know what I'm saying? Right. But, um, yeah, I just, again, I think it all kind of all just goes back against, uh, to like the little social, um, thing we have going on and, uh, how, you know, everybody just kind of want, I want to look, I want to be portrayed as such and such. When you look at my profile, I like that's starting to become more important than who you are in real life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is true. This is definitely facts. What and that's you, scary. What you see on it, online, man, is that's that's what people take at face value. <laughs> that's what people what? take at face value and take as truth. 
Um, do you think people need like a fast or a break from social media for a specific amount of time? Definitely. I Every feel like now people, and then, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm talking about like deactivating. I like just, oh, I'm not going to get on it. Because what happens is, yeah, we say we're not going to get on it. And then it'd be that one late night. Like, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> right. Be right back it got, on it. Got, it got to be one of them modes where it's like, okay, you know, you're not gonna like fully deactivate your page because you're going back to it. But I would say at best, delete the app off your phone. Because if you delete the app off your phone, okay, you didn't deactivate the profile, you can go back to it. But if you know you're taking a fast and you need a break from it, you know you're doing too much. If you got to go to your app store, Play Store, mm -hmm. go search for it and re-download <laughs> and mm -hmm. log in. Yeah. Like okay, you are doing too much. Hey, nigga, you fasting? Versus, I'm leaving on there and try not to click on it. But shit, when you scroll through your pages, oh shit, Instagram. Boop, there you go. Mm. It's easy. Yeah, I, I one time I, I did. Um, this is a while ago. Um, I got off Instagram and I got right back on it as if I didn't just exit the app. I was like, mm. yeah, <laughs> this is, yeah. This thing is sick. I got right back on it. Yeah, I was they like, got you, Dub. <laughs> I was like, got nah. your mind. I actually said I would delete my Instagram, but you know, because we on YouTube and stuff yeah. like that, and we we heavy to yeah with with people. You know, I don't I don't delete it, but I I, I got to I think got another YouTube. one, guys. We got <laughs> another one. I, I yes. think in situations like that, like you know, you uh, guys like yourself being YouTubers, and you. You need your YouTube channels. You need your Instagram because you need to be accessible to your fans and the and the uh, the content that you put out. I think when you're in those spaces, though, as long as you know in your mindset that you don't want to get too too caught up in it to where it's like eating you up, then I think mm -hmm. you're good. I think fasting from social media is from people who are not in those spaces and they're just doing it and they don't really have a reason to. So they need mm -hmm. to unplug for a while. But yeah. you know, when you're in that space, like for y'all, y'all do this, you and Ross, y'all do this every single day. Mm -hmm. You know, so y'all, I think in y'all's case, if y'all deactivated, unplugged, and didn't post, because they used to send something every single day. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Something. R R Ross going live maybe twice a day if y'all don't, if y'all not recording. You know what I'm saying? So his fans are looking for that. Right. You know, so I, I think it just depends on what kind of headspace you in when it comes to social media. Mm hmm. That's true, yeah. and it's uh, what you were saying, Noah. No, I was just, I was just agreeing more so, yeah, man. But I feel like too, if you have made the conscious decision to actually fast, and the chances are you're, I feel like you're doing somewhat good on social media. It's mm -hmm. the people be like, nah, I don't need to do this, <laughs> right? I, you know how many followers I got? Man, yeah. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> man, you better go sit down. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, read a book. Nah, that's true. Like I didn't even think about that like that. Like just the fact that you know, <laughs> every niggas is on here just to be on here, just, just to be, be sh here. shooting up DMs and getting exposed and shit. And like, scroll like, hey, who post on finna start some shit up right now? Like mm -hmm. my nigga. Oh, people actually do that. Somewhere. People actually just go out the way to start stuff or just to be nosy. <laughs> Talk, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, you know, what what drama or mess I can get into or see or watch. Like that's that's people's form of entertainment. If it's not out, if it's not YouTube or whatever, it's Facebook, Instagram, definitely Twitter. That's a toxic place. Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh. Twitter is so I don't know what Twitter toxic. can turn into, bro. It is I will toxic, say toxic, bro. I unplug from Twitter a whole lot. It is toxic because bro. that is not a that's a you'll learn place. everything on Twitter. You Man. said what? Forget TV. You will learn everything on Twitter, or you can know everything on Twitter. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll be scrolling on Twitter, seeing scriptures, seeing hoping, and then seeing somebody getting smashed all in the same, <laughs> same, the same swipe. It's the same swipe. It's I'm like, whoa! They what cover is all <laughs> brands of entertainment? Man. It's <laughs> all <laughs> here. <laughs> Clips. Got your sports clips. If you want your controversial topics, you got that. If you want to see someone get piped down, you got that. Bro, I was on Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter, then you with the news. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, no. That, that's the craziest thing. People don't even watch the news no more. They be like, oh, shit, what's going on in the world today? Let me check Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Let me check my and they, like, first one on it. That's actual fact. Like, like whenever anybody didn't, like, passed away or anything, I found out Nipsey passed away on Twitter. Tw- mm-hmm. Um, Like, usually they, they got, like, every story first. And... Yeah. But yeah, bro. So I I was on there and my wife was next to me. And, you know, I was just looking on there real quick because I got a notification. So I go to my timeline and I just scrolled once. And it was just this female. She was doing something. And she was, I guess she was like trying to put a shirt on. And she was doing some like type of TikTok or whatever. And then she looked at it and she was like, and then next scene, her shirt was off. <laughs> and I'm talking about just titty swinging and everything. And she looked at me and she was just like, you don't need to be following that. What are you doing following that? And it's like, I'm like, bro, it's not me. Somebody retweeted, retweeted it. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I went to her page. And I was like, look, I'm not even following her. See? And I'm scrolling. <laughs> I'm like, be your case. I'm, like, right. I'm like, look, I'm not even following her. See? Look. But. Look up. <laughs> still looking, though. That's the funny thing. Yeah, I, I didn't know. Not even following her, bro. That's <laughs> you crazy. Tripping, crazy. You tripping, bro. <laughs> you know, <laughs> damn. Follow well. something like this, I wouldn't Man. follow nobody like, like this. this. You, you done went back to two years. <laughs> Snicket right. road to two years this ago, twenty eighteen. <laughs> That's insane. This is disgusting. Wow. <laughs> hey, you know you toxic if you've been scrolling on somebody's page and. They don't even look the same. <laughs> yeah, these niggas in lost weight, gained weight, lost weight again. These niggas have had three transformations in one timeline feed. Man, is this Lisa right. from now? Or, <laughs> or is this, this nigga, she, she grew up, huh? Yeah, she grew up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we would be hell with Instagram if we was in high school, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just the stuff that you seen during that time. I don't that, think we'll be here. Right now. I'm glad we didn't have it because <laughs> mm-hmm. we got that memory in our head. Yeah, and if you were yeah. there, you know, yeah. like yeah, oh, if you know, man. you know. That's yeah, that. if you know, you know. That's that's the way it should be. Because there's some Ooh, stuff wouldn't be here that definitely <laughs> oh, would have been recorded. Oh man, a lot of shit would have been recorded, <laughs> uploaded, posted, and forever on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, that's yeah, cold, bro. man. Would they have the jobs they have now? <laughs> Facts, bro. Facts. <laughs> no, they the, the relationships they have now. There would probably be some kids that's not even, they wouldn't be born, like, being dead ass. There would be yeah. some kids that would not be born right now. We would change the some whole people would, Some people wouldn't have hooked up. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I would have seen who you was following. If you following Johnny, nah, because that nigga be smashing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, let me see your mutuals. Mm-hmm. Right. So it, uh-huh. it's nope. we grew up in the right time period. That's what I always say. We grew up in the yeah. right time period at the right time, Money's and it, we, we was able to experience both sides of the world before and after. And yeah. I don't know what the future holds. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I don't know what the future man, holds for us. I don't know what we It's scary, man. I don't know what we so, so scary. With. Twenty is time is flying by, man. I got a question. How long do y'all think Instagram is gonna uh for a while? Its run is gonna last. It's gonna last for a while. It's wraps. You I don't know why it's gonna last for a while. Mark motherfucking Zuckerberg got that bitch. <laughs> it's going to yeah. last for a while. It's Facebook has been around since two thousand and nine. MySpace. Ooh, yeah, okay. it's been around <laughs> since two thousand and nine, and and it's still. It's still going strong. So, mm-hmm. yeah, Instagram's going to be around for a very, very, very long time. Yeah. I think that's just, it's, it's like Twitter. Same thing with Twitter. Twitter's been around for a minute. Yeah, yeah. And it's still, <laughs> it's still going strong. I think it's just those are the social medias right now that, you know, they kind of, they kind of have the market. Now, I don't know about TikTok because, you know, they trying to shut that shit down. I don't know about oh, that. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how long that lasts, but I can see that dying out before anything else. <laughs> Hell, Snapchat is still yeah. doing, having this little run. Like people still be on the Snapchat. Really? Pretty, yeah, 
That's oh, because yeah. of that shit. That's literally because of them premium. Yeah, that's and that's <laughs> exactly what it is. Premium save Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. Like, Snapchat is for the down Snapchat is for the down and dirty. And you know yeah. it because people who mm-hmm. got Facebook and Instagram, they were like, Hey, if you want to see this part of my night, you gotta follow me on Snapchat. Like oh that's what that's what it's hey, like. But you work. know what? That's what close that's why Instagram is... might be smart. Yeah, because them close, close friends, close friends, the close friends. Yeah, I'm thing. in a couple people's close friends. I don't we even know, know how I got lost. in there. Are you? I'm just like, wait, oh, hold on, you know how wait a minute. No, you don't, you don't know how you got in there. No, bro, I'm telling you, there's some no, close I friends. Swear. I was like, how am I? <laughs> was how am I in the close friends? I appreciate it though. You asked that question. No, I didn't ask. I didn't oh, okay. ask questions about it. I was like, all right. When am I going? I was like, ooh, what, what am I doing here? Right. Hey, he just noticed I... it and he just kept scrolling. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Wait, the, right. the smaller <laughs> app that you see, like the bigger apps are taking their concepts, like Vine. Yeah, that's you true. Know, they, they took the seven second concept and put it on Instagram. Instagram. They took the reels from TikTok and put it on Instagram. So it yep. keeps feeding off of those little apps mm-hmm. and putting it on the bigger ones. Yep. Does it make an impact like the smaller apps? Probably not, but eventually they become obsolete because you got yeah. everything on one platform. Yeah. You like why Mark, why motherfucking you? Zuckerberg. <laughs> you gotta Man. say his name like this. <laughs> Snick him and Jeff Bezos. Taking over the world. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Bezos, Bezos is taking over the world. Ju- I can just imagine how much money Jeff Bezos made yesterday on Prime Day. I can just imagine. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And I got the notification, so I, I, I fought it. You know, um, good. That's good. But I got Did another one today. I got another one today. You got it kind of strong, right? I, seen- I, got, I got one today. Say Prime Day is not over. Oh, so it's Prime two day. Yeah. What, what is it? I had Jeff a, uh, Bezos running it up. My boy. flesh was weak. Yeah. <laughs> I had a they drone. got him. They got I had a they drone did. on the watch list, bro, and I was like, "We got another wow. one, boys." <laughs> Jeff, right. like, fight I'm it. Upset. I'm upset you didn't pull that trigger now. Yeah, no. Nah. We got another one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no <a> tea. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm the nigga that can't make a purchase over a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I have that disorder. Yes, <laughs> I understand that. Nigga. Something people that probably didn't know about me, but anytime the the amount is over ninety nine dollars. My wife actually has to come and push the button for me. That's not a. It's not a bad thing. That's actually well, that is bad. bad. That's that's pretty bad. It, 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 it turns it's into a rabbit hole thinking. after a while. Yeah, right, like you, you're thinking. It's like, do I really need? Yeah. And if she approves, if your wife approves of it, then it's like, okay, maybe. She be like, "Mommy, don't get that shit." <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what she right. said. I still struggle with that in regards to my hats. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's a different that's a Tell different bag, bro. Hey, yeah. we you know no one loves his hats. <laughs> you paying a hundred dollars for a hat, you definitely got to think. <laughs> Go back and get it. Oh, don't I get me wrong. Hat. I haven't paid. I think the most I ever paid for a hat was like maybe like eighty dollars. Mm, okay, not bad. What's the most, yeah, Ross? Bad. Ross, what's the most you paid? <laughs> Shut the fuck hat. up, boy. No, no, <laughs> he's ass now. I want to know. Fuck I up. Know. He's being such a what's the asshole. most you paid? I was hoping no, this was higher. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to throw him under the bus. Eels. Yes, I was. <laughs> I was trying. And he said it's nice, so I know they had to be high. Uh, the okay, most so I paid. Let me, was... let me tell you how much Ross had to pay for a hat. Ross was actually he he actually lost a bet. Yeah, I where lost he had bet. to go and buy a hat or a uh, buy an item. I hadn't chose what it was yet, and so I told him, I said, "Bro, go buy a hat." Ross had the hat was so expensive. I had to pitch in on the hat that he was buying Bruh. for the bet he lost. The most expensive hats I know is kill the hype. Mm-hmm. That so for you to spend that much, and I have a kill the hype. That's that's the eighty dollar hat. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So it was, like it was like a one of one. Yeah. Oh. It was, it was a one of one. It had all these custom Houston embroideries on it. So I was like, oh yeah, this so would be dope. How much was the hat? <laughs> That's what I want to know. It's the laugh. Nobody's me. answered that question yet. Nobody's answered that question. It's yet. been a great pod, man. I appreciate it all. Y'all. <laughs> oh no, 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 no,
Look, I mean, look, sure, look, here you I'm go. Sure Ross has spent a lot of money on the sneakers since oh, he had. I have you know, not. Here uh, we go. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't put it we on Blondie. We, we about to pod today. We Don't put it on Blondie. <laughs> we about to pod oh, today. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, we all getting higher yeah. and higher. Well, hey, you got like five. Right, nah, bro. Nah, Ross, you got like five towers over there. Now. No, I don't, I bro. Go a little bit I over to four. the right. It's only I four, bro. It's four towers, bro. Go down, son. Uh-huh. It's four towers, bro. Uh-huh. We can't see What's the bottom, the ladies and gentlemen. What's under the bed? He got shoes under the bed. It's going around now. Either you didn't show the closet, bro. The top, the top shelf in the closet. You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. Shut up, Ross. What? Oh, I just went shopping at your garage too. Bro. Oh, <laughs> he knows it's, where all my clothes are. Bro, it's like you know when you at at Ross or Marshalls and you do your you flick your hand like this through all the shirts. Yeah, that's how this nigga shit hung up in the garage, <laughs> and they all look new. And you know what? Some I of them still got tags. <laughs> I'm like, up, wait, nigga, I wanna. And then you know what? Let me let me show you a flex Ross did. Oh no! <clears throat> oh, let me let me show you now. Nah, this nigga oh, changing. Yes. So, yes. so I was like. <laughs> I was playing. I was like, man, let me see what I can get over here, man. Let me see if I... Ooh, I said, I like this color right here, man. Let me hold this. Oh, you can have it. That nigga... <laughs> I was like... That is definitely a flip. I don't care. No, that's it's not, flip, bro. bro. Yes, he it got, is. He can have it. Nah, that's not how I don't how have you do nothing it, to dude. match with it, bro. So Look like, at that. Dead. Oh, man. <laughs> you know you live it well where you can be like, I ain't got nothing to match with this shirt. I, I ain't got nothing to match with it. You can have it. That <laughs> nigga literally wanted me to have it. He said, oh, you can have it. Like, it was like nothing. Like, bro. I was just Normally like, hey. when you buy clothes, you buy things that are, you already have to match with it. Or you're I, going to purchase something. I thought I did. He I didn't was, like it. He flexed so I was like, I ain't. <laughs> oh, that must be nice. You know? <laughs> right. We'll Carefree type world, you know, right. other people with with mass amounts of bills and shit. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I can't even oh, think don't, of the last don't time Ross I got like Ross personal barber down too. I don't have you know, no, no personal, personal barber. barber. I ain't got no personal barber. And then I go to the shop like everybody else. Like uh, hell you do. Yeah, I, ain't gonna, I, do. I ain't gonna put it out there. But I, I know do. who cut your hair. I know <laughs> you know who cut my hair. You don't go, I, you don't go to the shop. Yeah, I do, bro. I've been going to the shop, bro. I'll be going to the shop, bro. Now. Ross, why you why you talking over Noah? Did, did you ever do a house call? Just answer the question. <laughs> yes, I have. Oh, but okay. That's gotcha. that's okay. when he wasn't at the uh, shop. Yeah, he wasn't at the shop. In the in the heart of COVID, you was getting fresh chops. <laughs> wow, well, all getting... of us are woofing out here in the streets. <laughs> right. Right. Niggas was saying that shit like, damn, bro, we've been out here with hair, no haircuts for three months, and this nigga Ross get one. Ross everybody. got Ross got the Jalen Rose cut. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ross out here, Ross out here living his best life. We out here learning how to cut our own shit. <laughs> we yeah. over here struggling. Man, Good with that guy go caveman beard. Right. I tried to line myself up, mess my beard, had to cut it all off. Start cut it all off. Oh boy! Look, look at Ross shit. Still, Ross shit still glistening. Look, look at this beard. <laughs> I just look at. I put the, the sheen on there, man. The shade. The shade. Shade must moisturizer. Did y'all did y'all ever catch him uh, adding the shade? Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, uh-uh. bro, I use y'all products, bro. You're trying to get a placement. <laughs> hey, give me one Ross placement. Trying to be ambassador for somebody. Oh my god. Oh, he got hey, Ross, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with it, Ross. Ain't, ain't nothing At all. Wrong with it. We want you to succeed, I'm, Ross. I, I'm rooting for you. I, <laughs> I'm really rooting. I'm rooting. I really hope that one brand that you wear a lot of gives you all of their clothing so that way you can show it off and get that check. Hey, look, he almost there. I can't there. say it because of copyright. He, he, no, I got yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he almost there though. It rhymes with Spike Lee. But, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Spike. Spice. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, it's cool, bro. He flakes different. Oh you know, god. speaking of flexing, how do you think the Lakers are flexing right now? <laughs> <laughs> they big flexing. Oh, yeah. Too bad they can they're not having a parade though. But they big yeah. flexing. It's not the same. They gonna have an Instagram <clears throat> or something. It's not the same. Yeah, it's, it's, not. it's it's not. I mean, congrats to them for winning, but you know, it's it's you wanna Go to the parade, hit the fans cheering, going crazy. Right. 
y'all enjoying the whole day. Yeah. Um, yeah. J.R. Smith wanted to take his shirt off in front of everybody. So, so do you think this championship counts? Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, it, to, it me, to me, it counts. Let me, let me tell you why it counts to me. And I didn't think of it this way until I listened to J.J. Reddick <laughs> podcast the other day. Going to the bubble, like, okay, the, the norm. We go, we may have a couple back-to-backs, get on a plane, fly somewhere else, have a game. I can go home, be with my people in whatever city my family live in, come back, whatever. And that's all in a week. No, we're we finna test everybody. Y'all got to quarantine for two weeks, and y'all stand within this, whatever size radius that bubble was. Ain't nobody out, nobody coming in. And Jay Jaredi was like, that was some of the highest level of basketball play we ever seen. And if you've been watching the playoffs, Mm-hmm. That was some of the highest level of basketball I've ever seen. Because you ain't got nothing to do. You wake up, eat, practice, go play a game. Mm-hmm. At the highest level, it is. You don't have to worry about jet lag. You don't have to worry about planes. Go take an ice bath, get you put some bananas and fruits and shits up in you, and go to bed. Wake up, do it all over again. So to me, it counts. I understand that at this point, we'd actually be starting the next season. Mm-hmm. But I mean, life happens. COVID fucking happened. Everybody had the little pandemic time off. All right, niggas, we bring y'all back. We can put y'all in this bubble and play. And them Negroes was playing. That was some great oh, they would. Oh, definitely yeah. facts. Yeah. Definitely. yeah, I think people are gonna put an asterisk on this year though, regardless. They're gonna try to, but I don't, yeah. I don't think it's right. <clears throat> I mean, you gotta think though, like it, it wasn't your normal, you know, let's run through these 82 games. Let's, you know, let's right. let's see who can keep the motor running when uh, you coming out of the regular season and going into the playoffs. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's it, it. I mean, it is. You know, we got to think about the people we argue with in sports, regardless. Right. Like niggas, niggas is gonna have a reason to argue. I'm not the biggest LeBron fan, but um, you know, I I you know, I'm not mad because I feel like it's what Kobe. You know, like it's the it was a nice um thing to do for the year that Kobe passed away. You know, mm-hmm. it's, like, it's like one of them things. Right. It's like, man, if anything happened, bro, I wouldn't be mad if the Lakers won it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's such yeah. a big impact. And, you know, what he meant to that organization was big. Mm-hmm. Facts. Like, for them to win the championship that same year, I could never be mad at that. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. But <clears throat> I just want to see how things go moving forward. You know, because just like you were saying, Marcus, you will be getting into uh, the new season. It will be at the cusp of the brand new season. And to see how they about right. to get things back to normal once things do get back to normal, I'm actually more mm-hmm. interested in that than anything. But um, if yeah. anybody needs to take a page out of anybody fucking book, it's the world to how the NBA did this shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, because they, they sat and had those meetings and they put the plan in place and the plan worked 100% success. Exactly. Yeah, you know it did. They kept, they kept everybody in one central place. Like mm-hmm. this is this is how we're gonna stop it. You ain't really right. hear no other cases of people catching it unless they, you know, broke the rules and was trying to sneak somebody in, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, like right. they they were on top of it. That's how it has to be. Mm-hmm. And it's it's different. You see how it is in the NFL, niggas have to postpone games. <laughs> we had a fucking Tuesday Man. night game. Yeah, Tuesday missing. night football game. Yeah, that's right. weird as hell. I we had a Tuesday night game because niggas, niggas saying got... I'm not playing. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, just, it, it, it sets the standard, man, for like mm-hmm. a lot. Every time. A lot of things from like, you know, <laughs> just being politically aware telling people to mm. vote, you know, making sure that mm. people are knowing about the social injustice. It's just really, they tie into so many things that's mm. going around the world and they put it and use their platform to inform us the best way possible. I don't mm. see the NFL doing that. I don't see the MLB doing that. I don't see the NHL doing that. Nobody. And if and that's, they, to me, that's because the NBA got like the best players association ever, and they got the right players leading that fucking association. That the NBA players union is like like no fucking other. You know what I'm saying? If the NFL and and all of in the MLB and everybody had people like that leading those organizations, it'd be the same. But they don't. You know, NBA those players take such charge, and I mean LeBron is leading that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's Paul powerful. All those other cats. That's powerful, yeah. bro, because. I actually just seen somebody post about how great LeBron did. And normally I scroll past some comments real quick, 
Oh boy. <laughs> I'm be honest, with you, right? I'm be honest. Bro, I'm being honest. I'm looking at it, and then he he was writing a nice little paragraph, and I just so happened to read it, and he said, "But he gets into politics too much," and I was just like. What politics is LeBron getting to outside mm-hmm. of saying niggas like me is getting killed out here in these streets? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We need to vote for somebody that's gonna help that that my people live, like get justice, and you know, not always get a settlement and cops just getting away mm-hmm. uh, with a free ride. You know what I'm saying? It just made me feel like <clears throat> sometimes that that athlete stuff, and I do like how LeBron can let people know like man i'm an athlete but i'm always about my people first you know what i'm right. saying like we're gonna we're gonna address this situation i'm gonna be great in the sport that i'm in but i'm gonna also let you know about what's going on with my people at the same time and i'm not gonna sugarcoat i'm not gonna act like i don't know or i'm not aware nah nigga this my people dying <clears throat> excuse me and we need to do something about it mm-hmm. you know and it's mm-hmm. like coming from a person who and you know the NBA, you like one of the most popular people in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. everybody knows they they tune into America shit. You know what I'm saying? So right. um, you're known all over. So to have that platform and to bring the awareness to that stage, it's powerful. And um, mm-hmm. you know, I just wish that more people was kind of on board because um, I feel like the George Floyd situation it got really watered down after uh, a couple months passed away. And past, past, uh, and I feel like if we would have kept that momentum going, you don't know what we would have saw. Like if we would have kept right. that momentum and our foot on their necks, I mean, <clears throat> make everybody. And I mean, it wasn't just the fact that they putting Black Lives Matter on everything. That's just one aspect of it. So you couldn't escape seeing it everywhere you mm-hmm. went. It was something relating to Black Lives Matter. So you, it was, it was kind of like just playing in your mind, even though you're not trying to pay attention, mm-hmm. pay attention to it. So we right. was on that. I was like, bro, imagine what we can do if we keep this shit going for a good minute. Come together as a community, invest in one another, and just keep this shit pushing. What's, what could happen if we would have just kept that momentum just, just like, strong? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we, we led a lot of things. That's kind of one of the reasons why I was one of the people that was like, man, you know, the NBA probably shouldn't come back. Sports should just take a hold. I was only saying that not to knock sports, but I was like, bro, we got these niggas on their on they heels right now, bro. Like, and just the whole situation that happened, like the, the you know, situation that happened with Meg and Tori. I feel like in a way that, that kind of, we was so pissed off with her thinking that Tori did it. And then we was like, oh, damn, well, who really did it? And then it's like, now it's kind of like taken away from other things now. Like now the, you know, other drama now is really taking the place of the shit that's really going on. Mm-hmm. You know, the fact that the cops was let off uh, from killing Breonna Taylor and he was only charged for shooting the wall <laughs> from the neighbors next door. And I'm just like, but we wasn't in much of an uproar as a whole community as we should have been. And it's like, that shit is frustrating. And they keep doing this shit to us and they keep doing it. And it's like, they doing this shit right in our face. And I feel like we just, we'll get pissed off for a second. And then we like right back to like, oh man, oh, hey, where, where we going? Trying to turn up, nigga. Hey, you seen that shit on Shane? Right. Oh, you seen so-and-so? Right. You know, and I'm just tired of the cycle, man, personally. No, understandable. Yeah, it's it's the cycle is forever a cycle. Honestly, it's it's been like this for I don't know since the internet's been a thing. Like we, as people, we we get distracted very easily. It doesn't take mm-hmm. much. All it takes is some shenanigans. Boom, we we back to square one. But I think the difference this time, and I, I do appreciate that there are more people really aware of what's really going on out here like yeah. it's kind of hard now to even refute it because even <laughs> i never thought i'd see today mlb players are wearing you know slain victims on their jersey or see black Lives matter on a in, on an mlb field i never thought i'd see today right you know yeah. what i'm saying and <laughs> the only reason why uh, and, huh i say you like, i never thought i would see that day at that's, all. 
Like that's that's a rarity. And even though the NFL, them niggas backpedaled, like them niggas <laughs> oh, got how oh, to ride a bike, oh, yeah. Them oh. niggas backpedaled <laughs> majorly, but you see it now. And you know, whether it's genuine or not, that's neither here nor there. You see, you see the issue. So now it's like even even just with police forces, like now police, they're not just I mean, yeah, there's still situations where you have people end up you know what I'm saying being wrong wrongfully shot at or killed but it's it's more it's it's different now because there's some consequences to stuff happening like that now like they, yeah. there's a sense of if something like this happens or whatever there can definitely be some backlash on me my family my loved ones because it's it's a thing now like i i remember right after the George Floyd situation somebody was they were being arrested in Houston and it was like at a convenience store or whatever, and somebody was filming. They was like, "Yo, bro, get your get your get your knee off his neck." Uh, you know, what I'm saying, "Nah, my knee's not on his neck." Like the officer's saying this, like, "My knee's not on his neck." I'm trying to help yeah. him up. You, gotta, you know, he he's trying to while he's trying to contain that situation, other people are around, and he's trying to make sure that you know, what I'm saying, he he's aware of what he's doing, which is sad that mm-hmm. it, it has to be like that. But mm-hmm. it's one of those things where I think it's it's been pushed down everybody's like vision on wherever wherever you go doesn't matter if you're watching TV you're gonna see something about it you see commercials mm-hmm. talking about it you see commercials pro promoting hey go vote you see it in shows you see it on your phone there's nowhere to escape it now so it it kind of makes the excuses of I didn't know this was going on. It kind of mm-hmm. minimizes that. So that's the if there's any positive out of all the stuff that has transpired through through the senseless killings, you know, I I think people seeing seeing the harsh reality of what what really goes on in America, I think that helps. And I I think honestly these these elections that's coming up these are probably going to be the most crucial elections we've had since trying to elect Obama in the presidency. Like I think this will be uh, this is going to be the most crucial time because we live in a time period of just people being afraid, people being fed up, people want better change, people want something to have hope for when it comes to this country. Because as it stands right now. It's 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 so bleak, you know, with the COVID, with you know the injustice going on, and it's not even just black people. Yeah, we used to being treated wrongly, but you're starting to see other races get treated wrongly. Well, as, as well, we used to it. So when mm-hmm. other people started, oh, what, what's 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 happening here? You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. just one of those things where I I think I try to focus more on okay the positive aspects of where we getting at and what we're trying to accomplish. I do feel like we do as people, as black brothers and sisters, we, we still got to keep the fight strong and try to uplift each other. That's, that's the main goal right there. If we can try to uplift each other as much as we can, realistically, I think we can get to a better common goal on, on trying to get people to understand our plight and our position and where we trying to go. Cause at the end of the day, I, I wouldn't want, if I ever had kids to grow up in a world where they don't feel somewhat safe to call 911, you know what I'm saying? Somewhat like we, as black people, we don't want to call them. That's like the last, 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 last option. The very last option. And it, I don't, I don't want if I ever had a son or a daughter to feel some type of way. Cause I feel some type of way. Now there was, a, I want to say a couple of nights ago, I saw a cop or whatever. And he was, he was behind me, so I kind of got over and let him pass. And I, I went bleed low to speed limit. Now it was 30. I was going at least a good 15. I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just go on it. Go on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. Old trick, huh? <laughs> go on about your business. Oh, nigga, it was I'm funny because that nigga was driving slow, too. I was like, oh, come on, bro. Don't right. just, you don't will exit way. off the freeway if you see a police behind you. Just to make yeah. sure they ain't following you. Facts. I've done that before. I'm too. gonna make I'm gonna make a turn that don't have nothing to do with where I'm going. I've done that right. too, bro. 
I know damn, damn well this crazy. is my only U turn for the bro, next. Oh, you be in miles. the trenches, bro. Damn, what else? <laughs> Nigga, what you mean? All... <laughs> bro, come on, bro. You, you man, especially with them <laughs> Pearland police. Fuck no. You be in a slab. That's why. Right. Bro, my fucking Honda is cord. It's not no slab. <laughs> I ain't got no rims it's, on it. No, nah, it's slow. It's loud, and it's, nah, and it's <laughs> it <ain't> loud. <laughs> it ain't banging. None of that shit, bro. I got a vlog on my channel that say otherwise about the loud part. It's not loud no more. I'm trying to play oh, me, okay. Right? On the cool, if I'm a cop and I'm driving down the street and Ross drive past me his car, you over. I, think, <laughs> I think he's a low. I low key think he's like a, wow. a down low drug kidding. dealer. Wow. He a runner boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, not the runner boy. <laughs> wow. Oh, bro. <laughs> nah, you, nah, Ross, I, I feel you, Ross. You, you got kidding. the transportation, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could be an Uber Eats, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say a drug dealer, you know what I'm saying? Delivery. No, you know, Ross got the tenant windows. He likes mm. his music loud. Nah, nah. Music loud. he got nah, L- he got LED light. He got LED lights in there. <laughs> I do, bro. I got the see? lights. Lights. See, yeah, they get to your door, they're gonna be like, hey, "Oh Ro- yeah, he's not that." You see his hat? You see that? You see <laughs> that over eighty dollar hat? <laughs> 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 Which brings me back. How much did the hat cost? Wow. That's Nobody really gonna be the episode name. Well, How much guy. was the hat? The hat in total with taxes included was a total of a hundred and it's like twenty some dollars, bro. Oh bro. Oh. You can always come to me. I swear, I will find you whatever hat you. It wasn't for me. Hat. That was for him. I got hats. I'm good. I had to chip in. Shut your ass up. <laughs> you lost a bit. I had to chip in <laughs> by my own hat. Jesus, what kind of hood Jesus shit is that? Christ. Yeah, it's that live though, crazy. man. I'll show you how the hat. Uh, it, it better be. It's it not one hundred and twenty dollars live, but it's it's still yeah, live. It's not. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it just stacking that. Hat. Honestly, it's, it's honestly, I just. Showcase it. I haven't even worn it. Yeah, that's a showcase. It's one of them hats where I'll probably put in a little plastic. I mean, you know, one of them glasses. Little little glass box. Yeah. Let it sit there in the game room or somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> when the Rockets Man, actually hey. do something. <laughs> Man, Bruh, I'm going like to bust the glass. <laughs> yeah, when they actually do Break something. Break the glass. Put the hell. Yeah. Break in case of emergency if these niggas ever win the championship again. <laughs> oh, hey, on the cool, that, thank you. That's a that's good, good idea. It. Break like, Mr. The, like Mr. Krabs had his first dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. If them niggas ever win a championship yes, before man. we all pass away, <laughs> break this on the way it's looking right now. No, that glass no box gonna be collecting <laughs> dust. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care if you got an Astro, the Texans, or even the, the Rockets hat. It don't look good for oh, Let's right not now. talk about the Astros right now, please. Ooh, no, yeah. no, Astros. they did win oh, their last man. game, but yeah. they didn't. They did. My favorite team. My favorite team is uh my favorite team is Tampa Bay, and they're up three and zero on the Astros right now. I thought they it's three one and it's three zero. They're about to get swept. You sure? <laughs> Positive. Right, you, you, you know, no, no, you know, I no, love knows. the game of baseball. Ross is looking <laughs> at uh EPPN. <laughs> really EPPN, <laughs> not ESPN. <laughs> wow. But nah, man, Michael, this was yeah. a this was a uh, actually dope podcast, man. Um. Uh, some dope about that, Noah. Yeah, we probably gonna do. I'm. I was trying to get it into the works, um, soon, but we gonna see about that. Um, we gonna do a a sports section. Uh, we gonna start introducing to the channel itself. So, um, you know, people that's listening to the podcast, you getting a little sneak peek, you know. But that is mm-hmm. underway. Us having some type of sports talk because I know people be wanting to hear our thoughts on sports and stuff like that. So, um. Yeah, we we cooking up something. So we cooking with grease. We, we cooking, cooking with some of the Crisco olive oil. Bacon fat. Mm. <laughs> Bacon <laughs> fat. You know, that sports community is a hell of a community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, now that we feel like we yeah. lost D Hop for nothing, you know, it's yeah, we lost that nigga for a bag of chips. It's tough out here, bro. <sighs> but we definitely got to talk about that oh. because you know he's out of here. Dumb and ass. he, yeah, it 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 feels good oh, to man. be free of. Bill Booty Chin O'Brien. I'm I'm I'm, but, I'm happy but with the it. Damage, the damage the damage has been done. Been done. Been done. Yeah, it's, no it's, first round picks, no second round picks. Nope. D hop gone. Nope. God 
Damage yeah. to hell, Bobby. Fuck. Yeah. He, he <laughs> niggas, niggas about to uh, be on the side of MLK with a sign. Who trying to play? Yeah. <laughs> Who want to play? There's somebody in the hood that know how to play. It's all yeah. It's everybody. Yeah, it's there's somebody everybody. in the hood. You just got to get them niggas to clean up their act. <laughs> That's it. And right. Stay off the weed. <laughs> clean their record up. Stay yeah, it's off the weed. weed. I need you to pass a weekly drug test. Uh, yeah, so Trey, please, we need we need receivers, please. This was dope, man. It's, it's good to see nah, both of you on yeah, here, man. Sure, it's been man. a minute since y'all been on here, bro. Nice so, yeah, 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 and, and impromptu because we literally hit up Noah like, hey, bro, can you can you hop on like real quick? Get your like, phone yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, get your phone real quick. He's like, I bet. So, and that, that's that's dope. We appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have been rocking with us. So, of course, anytime, yeah. you know, definitely, we definitely got to send y'all another invite. And definitely, sure. when we start talking about the sports stuff, I think that would be that would be dope. Yeah, we'll probably have a Skype situation. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, um, so we'll definitely let you know about that. But now, nah, man, support people who are gonna be around you and support you. You feel me? So that's kind of what this that's was. That's important. That's important, man. With this display, you know, they these are the homies that really be supporting. And uh, mm-hmm. we always appreciate it. It never goes unnoticed. Always, um, always. And, you know, we always want to stay around people like that, not to just take, but to spread that amongst each other. You know, when that's somebody true. doing something, we get support. When you're doing something, <clears throat> you know, it help us get to what we're trying to get as a, as a whole. You feel me? Right. No more pride taking over Mm-mm. the homies trying to get somewhere in life. So, nah, man. Uh, episode thirty-five. Um, in the books. In the books, man. Yes, we love y'all. Stay safe out there in them COVID streets. About to take my slab to get something to eat. And which you know which pair which pair of shoes you grabbing? <laughs> uh, oh my god! I'm wearing my Nike slides, bro. I'm not getting out the car. I'm not getting out the car. Bullshit. He finna oh. get them black. What's he got in that corner? <laughs> oh, he better not have no black Air Max Ninety. Nah, no, no. Bad as forces. Nah, hell no. <laughs> Definitely don't, man. Hold on, I got some. <laughs> I got the nine sevens though. But they black and white, bro. They're not all black. They got the oh, white trim at the bottom. They a little on. bad. Like you, you wouldn't do as <laughs> much violence, stuff, right? but you wouldn't do as much violence stuff. You might steal a piece yeah. of gum. Uh, that's why I be feeling yeah. like that. Like the little. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my god. You, you I don't think I have. Baby. I don't have no all black shit. When the last you, time you had some black forces, bro? Come on. Never. Dude, I've never uh, owned a pair of black up, forces. I never. Well, no. The last time I had a black, the all black forces was maybe seventh grade. Never had a pair. Was it middle school? Soft. It probably was. BFPV. Yeah, I've Soft never BFPV. had a pair. You guys, last time I had some all black forces. I've, I've always had the all white forces since middle school. There's some, I got some You gotta have some white ones though. This they I got some. No, dope. I haven't. I I'm have you, not bro. owned a pair of forces since middle school. They I've got, always, they, I've they always come kept back, a pair man. of white ones. Um, they, just they to have. Come back. Nah, they Them white come ones back, go with bro. everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I, go, I, I can believe that because Noah wore Sperry's in high school. <laughs> oh, hey. Perry, I did. He was a jerk. Sperry's and skinny jeans. Mm, I remember when Sperry's was in, bro. Snapbacks. He was a jerk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was yeah, a jerk. But, I know. Uh, right, yeah, you go wrong. Jig Master three thousand right there, man. That's, that's how you end it. <laughs> that's how you end it. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all, bro. <laughs> <laughs>